Hello, boys. Hello, hello girls. girls. And hello, hello, non-binary folk, and welcome back to the judgiest place on the internet. A very somber mood. Not oh. somber, a very relaxed. Yeah. Like low energy, like put this on right before you go to sleep. This is the one you're going to want to come back to and fall asleep to. Okay. My name is Josh. Sure. My name my name is Rick. And my name's Christian. And we are the, the Judges. Back in lower energy than ever. You Do you think we have low energy? Do you feel like you have a little bit of low energy? I mean, I'm pretty relaxed. Got low T maybe, but low energy, <laughs> I don't know. It's beyond me. Would you mind if I maybe did something to bring the energy up? Oh. Uh, well. Mio. Mio. I assume it's just caffeinated Mio that you drink every fucking pre-ep. I don't drink caffeinated Mio. Aurora drinks caffeinated Mio. Oh. Not anymore. <laughs> it's just she, she tried to get the shits. Couldn't figure it out. That's fair. Even though I had the same episode. I was going to say, wasn't this the exact <laughs> yeah. same issue you hey, had? Hey, without a lot of thoughts going on in this household. Okay, fair enough. Hey, I never claimed there to be. But I do want to get the energy up. So that's where I, we're going to hit the very early. Let me... Let me tell you about this circle jerge. Uh, Lou, your listeners, if you have not listened, circle jerge is where we jerge around the circle. And I feel like peop- like that allows the fans to jerge us more. Okay. And we haven't been doing that. We're not looking inward enough. We're only looking outward. And so this is an episode long circle jerge. A whole episode. Oh, a social experiment, hell? if you will. What oh, my God. Fuck? To see if Flip drugs work, sure. folks. That's right. We have smelling salts. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Ammonia. And they're supposed to be performance enhancing. So if this is the best episode you've ever seen, <laughs> leave a comment PEDs, that we have baby. to abuse. Wait, whose main salts. episode is this? Uh, Mine. Oh, okay. And if it's worse, then we know that drugs are bad for you. Although this isn't drugs, I did watch one five-minute video the only way you can really get hurt by this is if you get chemical burns from putting it right up on your nose. I was going to say, isn't the big thing is if you just use it too much, it like dries out your yeah. nasal passages? So we're smart. We're chemists and biologists and... Listen. Other? Other. Chemistry, while I do have a minor in it, was yeah. not my strong suit. I did test this out, and I was so far away from it, and it hurt my nose so bad. Oh, so no. that's this is it, folks. <laughs> We will have another circle dirge later. All right. Uh, this is just like black market ammonia. I just got it off a guy. It's just a bottle of cat piss. It's garbage. The cat's piss. It's okay. straight ammonia. Um, you I want don't you want to get this. it pretty far away and just a. I'm not gonna make you take a sniff if you don't want to, Richard. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's a good one. You don't even. It's not like where you break it. And... Whoo! Yeah. No, that's good. Don't get it that close. Why did you go that close? I showed you how far away. Woo! Baby. <laughs> Erica, get a waft. I'm so scared. No, get a waft. It just what smells like. Insane. It smells like what you expected to. Do not get as close as I did. Molly, get away from that. Oh it come just, on, Erica! It just smells like cat piss. No, I smell it. Oh okay. Well, I, oh, I, I just smells like cat piss over here. I don't know how you got so close. I'm... Is it only? I'm just gonna be complaining the whole time. Oh, it smells okay. like cat piss. Right. Let me get a little bit of cat piss in my mouth. Too. I did. I did have our cats piss all over this couch. As a like, it's like a, a baseline. But it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. You didn't get anywhere, Christian. I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I'm fucking ready to go. <laughs> All right, so again, circ- uh, hour-long, episode-long circle dirge. We also have an actual circle dirge. Leave a comment if you're on YouTube. If it's good, bad, better, best, worse. I really don't want to smell cat piss every time. But if it is better, I better I better get used to it, huh? And you know what we better get to? Better get to that mail time. And you can send us your mail over at P.O. Box 58, Ottawa, Illinois, 61350. Yeah. Address it to the judges or whatever the heck you want within reason. (laughs) Whatever you think the United States Postal Service will give to us. That's a very good caveat. First one comes to us from, you can say our names, Kathleen, Joey, and Booger. I hope Booger is the dog. They gave us their uh, Christmas card and it says, we love listening to the pod. Uh, It's a rat. Rex and Mulligan also. Oh, I thought that was their last name. No, it's so from left to right, it's Kathleen, 
Rex, Mulligan, Joey, and Booger. There's there's three. They have rat, pet rats. Oh, that's cute. A little early for a Christmas card. See? Mulligan, Booger, and Rex. These are actually very fucking cute. Is Mulligan named after the hit band Hot Mulligan? Try again. Yes. Is the band is the is the mouse Rex named after the hit band and once controversial um Rex Orange County? Try again. Um is the mouse Booger named after the sh- star of the movie Revenge of the Nerds Booger? Yeah. Okay. What were you gonna guess? Uh sugar booger. Oh. Uh, like cocaine? Yeah. I thought we just uh, did a little uh, well, I guess we did a little sugar piss. Okay. Mm-hmm. To Wait, the person who booger, sugar booger, booger, booger. freaking sent this box. It, this might be a bad episode. My brain's going at a thousand miles an hour. It undid all of your ADHD medication. Yeah, it, it really has got my brain bouncing around up here. All right. Let's just read the judges one because there is a Pissy lot. Chrissy. There's a lot in here. This is for Aurora. Here's Hosh. <laughs> Ricky. I got a, I got a, P, a PS. Wow, they got my ass. They put Hosh Smith and then you flip it over, and then it's fooled you. It's upside down. Christian, I was going to totally write this in your card. Oh, we're not reading it? Oh, you can read the outside, I guess. Uh, but totally forgot until I was listening to your latest episode tonight where you went over Spotify Wrapped. I wanted to say thanks for turning me on to Mega Mango. Whoa. What a fortuitous. Just released a new song like two days ago. Go listen to them. They're awesome. I love Mega Mango. Uh, via the streams. They were one of my top artists of the year. They fuck so hard. They do fuck so hard. Also, they keep liking my tweets, and that makes me feel so cool. Holy fuck. Hey, hey, tweet about the judges so we can get them on, Anyways, on, the, on the show. Mega Mango for tweet. life. You too, Ricky, that since too. it was you talking about them that made me remember to write this note. Your music is super good. Sorry for the messy writing. I'm drunk. Kira, uh, Kiara? Oh, Kira. 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 Um, Nightly. So we've got judges, and then there's a J, and she goes, ignore her. She got stuck here. and But then look at the back pretty Ooh. it's got sparkly sticker letters that spell out the judges how do you spell that j-u-d-g-i-e-s hmm. but i can't girl you got all this shit stuck down good because the box that it all came in was well i mean you get a finger in there <laughs> oh from canada i wonder if that's why they did a box maybe the box was cheaper from canada than the letters okay judges individually whoa wood burning friendly from friendly manitoba Nice. There you go. Pass that around. Nice Manitoban buffalo. I was going to say, are are Manitoban known for their bison? Oh, Winnipeg. Oh, we got all over. Uh, Well, no. Winnipeg is in Manitoba. Yeah, no, I see that. I really thought Winnipeg and Manitoba were really far apart. No. I thought they're different (laughs) sides. All right. This is a big letter. I know Winnipeg where they invented uh, hockey. Hey, judges. Hello. First things first, obviously, if you happen to read this on the pod, you can use my name. I've been listening since around episode 10, and you guys Whoa. are always my favorite that podcast. Is huge. To go back to, I am still biased to Oh Mama as my favorite episode, though. Really? I mean, that is... Come on. Come on. It's an all-timer. Since I have deemed myself to be the pissiest baby in all of Manitoba, in parentheses, Canada. Thank God you had that on there. <laughs> I thought I'd send a couple Manitoba items from local artists here. Fuck the big man, shop local. How come not woman, Manitoba? Hmm. Hmm. The ornament could be for a tree or the new stewed wall. How the hell do you spell stewed? Stud? Yep. Stoodle? Nope. Anywho, whoop de woo. Sending many warm wishes to you and your families this holiday season for me and my two kitties, Phineas and Ahs- Ahsoka. Ahsoka. How piss, the- piss, 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 Kiera. Phineas and Kira? Ferb, right? Kira. And then Ahsoka what? from Wait, Star Wars. there was Phineas and Ferb? No, it was no, Phineas, it's just Phineas and Ahsoka. And Ahsoka. Well, unless they're a fan of Billie Eilish's brother and Star Wars. Then I'm fine with that. You know what's fucked up? Ferb died of a few years back. So. Excuse me. The actor who played or the character? The animal. The cat. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> She photoshopped a picture of my face onto the card mm-hmm. of a boxing ring from the Wii boxing people, and it says knockout, <laughs> and then the person I'm knocking out is shitty men with bad opinions. Can I see the front? No. Yeah. Wouldn't you it. like that, weather boy? Okay. 
I was just fact checking you. Merry Christmas, Erica. I love getting to hear your takes on the pod every week, and you always make me laugh. I hope your holiday season is fun and relaxing. All the best, Kira. Twas the night before Judgmas. Okay. When all through the stewed, not a creature was stirring, not even a dude. Okay. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Rickolas would soon be there. Interesting. I've never landed on Rickolas. Yeah. (laughs) Olsen and Chrissy were nestled all snug in their beds. We might be reaching out to you for next Christmas. While while visions of egg-filled cats danced in their heads. With George in his kerchief and Willard asleep. Soon everyone... Why are we Scottish? (laughs) Soon everyone was off counting sheep. When... Out on the lawn, there arose such a clatter. All sprang from their beds to see what was the matter. Away to the window, they flew like a flash. <laughs> Tossed open the oh, shutters. They flew like a flash. <laughs> with a bang and a crash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave them all a view of someone below. What was that one? <laughs> When what to their wonderful eyes did appear the most beautiful woman, full of cheer? In the night, with a driver so lively and quick, they knew in a moment it must be St. Rick, adorned with a shirt reading, Fuck all men! It was abundantly clear she was a perfect ten. How fucking great was that? I wish we would have read this on Christmas. Yeah. We'll open up the other ones off of the podcast, because that's a lot of reading to do. But thank you very much. It's crazy that we do a lot of reading on this show. Okay, fine. Yeah, but no, it's normally a little more targeted this yeah this is the thing is this is our cat piss so this is our cat piss game and it's crazy you it's, don't have the energy to read someone that's taking away my cat piss letter like, you know but, what hey you know i know what, we no. have one com- we'll fucking do it again then uh, we got one complaint about this but hey if i'm in this we can do it again you read and i'll read and i'll just do left no right. we're not doing that yeah no this i'll just do it people loved complained it. about it as they should that was annoying <laughs> uh the, the front of my card is a tweet from me that says a holiday card that should have banged which is very funny uh, because I didn't tweet that, of course. They photoshopped that. Sure. And no, that totally sounds like actually something you would tweet. It says, tweet. happy holidays, Josh. I was very honored to be included in your listener submitted stories. Top three <laughs> in the judges' third birthday episode. I'm the baby that shit my mom. Great writing on that. Anyways, <laughs> I love the podcast and catching your streams when I can, although I usually am still working. How come you catch Christian streams and not mine? I think a lot of your jokes don't you get do enough credit. About two Best hours wishes, Kira. Fair. Hope your winter season is abolish icy and cold. Like the shirt I wear sometimes. Very nice. Mine says cringe miss time. <laughs> Say it ain't so. Wow. God, what a perfect card. It is weird to get Christmas cards in March. A little early, Kira. Happy out. holidays, Christian. I really enjoy your Wednesday streams. I totally put an extra S in Wednesdays unintentionally. Fuck. Oh well, you get it. Anyways, Merry Christmas to you, Ricky Olson and the pets this season. Keep up the awesome soundboard and nonsense. Oh. Fuck, I thought that was a different one. Stay sober, just sad, Kira. Ironic. <laughs> uh, and then they said, they send a picture of my <laughs> man, CJ Schroeder. We love CJ Schroeder on Twitch streams, twitch.tv slash Pot every Wednesday. If you ever catch a, a Christian stream, you're going to see it. <laughs> well, if you stick around to the end. Yeah, if you stick around to the end. And if you don't, just know, I'm sober. I'm just really sad you didn't stick around to the end. You really, like, you did a pretty good Irish accent, and then also three other ones. <laughs> I wasn't you, attempting to do anything. You hit a very good CJ Schroeder accent with the, <laughs> like, it was perfectly on <laughs> CJ Schroeder's pitch. It's it's cooked in my brain. Um, I was going to ask you, Erica, about the new volleyball rule and how it's stirring up the pots, but we uh, have to I'm save it for the bonus episode. So if you want to do that over at patreon.com, I'll just use about $10 to get you the, the free bonus oh, episodes. Weekly, weekly bonus episode. episode. I'm really, really fucking upset about this new rule, so I wow. can't wait to get into it. It's crazy because I asked her yesterday and she did not have that reaction. First story of the night coming to us straight off the press is from r slash am I the asshole. Wow. Am I the <sighs> asshole for refusing to go to my sister-in-law's baby shower after she refused to support me? Trigger warning, miscarriage. <laughs> Why are you so upset about it? <laughs> I because I completely forgot. I also clicked them out of order. This is supposed to be later in the rotation. I didn't want to be on a, such a sour note early on. We, 
you the th- we have post production capabilities. Uh, no. I'm gonna kick <laughs> all your ass. Why am I scared of you? The the cat piss is going to my fucking brain. I did jank. You got me to do jankum, you son of a bitch. You can still get pregnant from jankum. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Am I the asshole for clean one for TikTok? Don't worry, guys. I'm a professional. Am I the asshole for refusing to go to my sister in law's baby shower after she refused to support me when I had a stillbirth? Are there any? Triggers? And then she stole my daughter's name. Ooh. Oh, are there any trigger warnings for this one? Uh, yeah, trigger warning: stillbirth or miscarriages. Thank I've you. said it a thousand times. You think I'm cutting out any of that? <laughs> Three months ago, I, 28 female, gave birth to my angel baby who I was going to name uh, Shaban. My husband, Dylan, 30 male, and I are still grieving her loss. You don't like the mixture of Shaban and Dylan? No, I'm just, at, I was wondering if that's actually how you pronounce that. Yeah, S I O B A H N. Okay. Yep. It's Irish. Thank oh, God for Irish, college huh? humor and dropout for letting me and know that one person named that so I didn't fuck it up. It's actually, yeah, it's actually pronounced Auto, Autobahn Shaban. They're related. There's a joke there. I it's lost there. It. I lost it in Molly's eyes. You should have had more cat piss. Um, I've always said that. My husband, Dylan, 30 male, and I are still <laughs> grieving our loss. Very we sorry for your loss. Two yeah. preterm, premature rupture of membranes. There's nothing doctors could do to save her. Very unfortunate, very sad. The rest of this makes me very mad. My mother is Irish, and I was going to name my baby after my great aunt. We were so happy, and now we are devastated. My family rallied around us, and so did Dylan's parents. But his sister was a different story. She's been helping Dylan, but has told me I need to just get over it. I need to just get over it, with it being a reference to our daughter. Oh, My husband's sister, Claire, 34, female, just announced her pregnancy at 20 weeks and had a gender reveal on Instagram. I'm very happy for her, but sad at the same time because I never got to meet my own. She announced she was going to have a baby shower and sent out invitations last week. When we, rec- when we received the invitation, I said, help us welcome baby Shaban. Oh, no. I have to admit, I cried looking at this invitation. Yeah. I think that would be a trigger, even if it yeah. wasn't the same name yeah yeah claire and my husband's family have no connection to ireland or the name shaban and when my husband asked her why she chose the name claire said it sounded pretty because and because we weren't able to use it she was just going to take it first and to clarify no she's not naming her baby after my daughter i guess i don't think you have to clarify that as much as it wasn't like a cool little like honorific yeah for the soul that we lost that's still something that's very personal and you should ask permission ask, yeah absolutely it was just her being a bad person yes yeah. and being unthoughtful as much as i want to feel happy for claire i just can't it feels like she's rubbing the fact that my baby is dead in my face at this point i rsvp no to the invitation and then she called me on a private number and chewed me out for being a sour bitch on a private number for not being happy for her and for being jealous over nothing. What's I the... feel like I should be happy for her, but I just can't. No. I just want my baby girl and I want my Shaban. How so how long post loss was this? Uh they didn't really say she was twenty weeks pregnant. The sister's right. twenty weeks pregnant. That's cr- I feel like even if it was years later, that's still a terrible thing to do. Uh j- well, she lost her baby three months ago. Okay, so three months. 20 weeks. I mean, that's more than three months, so... I don't know. Hey, you do the math. It's three months. Mu- if she wrote the story three months ago and now she's also it's 12 weeks. About- that's not important. Yeah, okay. Hey. Yeah, the three months is the more important part, Josh. You are right. I'm doing the- I'm doing a thousand calculations up here right now. <laughs> you ain't got to do them, man. So I'm trying to help you out. I can't stop from doing them. <laughs> You put the piss in my nose. We're cat piss babies, really, if you think about it. Mm. This is a very sad, unfortunate story to open up with. It was. It was supposed to be number three. It was supposed to be taking us to a break and give us a little moment to catch our breaths. We are doing more cat piss on the other side of the break. <laughs> that, is the, that is my fear. 
Uh, <laughs> That's what I fear. So they're blood sisters? Like, no, it's, it's her not sister, sister in law. Okay. I just don't get the point of the private. Like the private call, like she's not going to figure out who it was. Yeah, I don't... maybe she knew that she wouldn't answer the phone call. Um, maybe that makes sense. It is pretty. Like I don't mean this is wrong. I just mean it was pretty bold to RSVP. No, like I ain't got the call to do that. I'm Why? Not, I would probably t- send a text message and explain. Like this is me personally. I'm not saying she did anything wrong. I'm just saying I wouldn't just RSVP no to my sister in law's baby shower. I would p- personally be like. I gotta. Sh- I either would force myself to show up or, like, personally be like, I need to explain why I'm not coming because that's a pretty big thing to say no to. You know what I mean? Mm. But it's also, I guess. But I'm I'm here for it. So no, I, that's what I mean. As I don't think she did anything wrong. I just think good on you. Yeah. You're 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 who Ed Sheeran talks about. Huh. You had a lot of gall, way girl. All my Ed Sheeran heads are loving that one. Well, They're fucking the losing reference. it. All my seat. He has a song called Galway Girl. All my sure. shears. <laughs> All my sheep shears. What the fuck are Ed Sheeran fans called? Not, don't, non-existing? Does, have you ever met somebody who's like, I love Ed Sheeran? I know he's like the most there's, popular guy in the world. People that are like, I like Ed Sheeran songs, but yeah, I've never met like an Ed, an Ed Sheeran stan. Yeah, right. Like he has to have many because he's... One of the most streamed artists ever, if not the most. He just makes really good fucking wedding music. White people wedding music, I feel like, specifically. Yeah. Millennial white people wedding music. And he's a really good actor in Game of Thrones season eight. Season six, seven. Sorry. He had what he had what was coming to him. He deserved it. Did he die in it? I assume he died. That's it's Game implied. of Thrones, it's right? It's implied that he survives. Well, it's implied that you get on the next story, I guess. Thoughts here? From... I forgot about that. So I was trying to remember the like jarring moment that you see Ed Sheeran <laughs> sitting by a campfire. He does it just he, really like takes you out of the. Mm-hmm. If the thing is, if it if he wasn't Ed Sheeran, he has the perfect Game of Thrones face. Uh, like he has old like medieval face. No, I don't think he does. No, I really? don't think so. Do you know who has like? It's uh, Mamie Streep. Yes, I know Mimi Streep. Mamie. That's what I said. No, it's not. Meryl Streep's daughter. Okay. Anyway, she's an actress, and she has, like, old-timey face. Like, old-timey, like, medieval? No, but more like, like, 1810. 1810? Whoa. Revolutionary face. Yeah. Or, like, maybe, like, 1880. Whoever okay. the... Civil War face? Whoever the actress is A little bit after that plays Lizzie in... Um, uh, Peaky Blinders. Peaky Wire. Blinders. She has like the perfect yeah. turn of the century face. Yes. Mm. I don't know how to explain other than that. Also, she's like six feet tall. She's gorgeous. This story comes to us straight from look her up now. R slash relationships. I, 21 female, caught my friend, 21 female, kissing my husband, 25 male. Natasha O'Keefe. Kissing Same. my husband's neck while I was asleep. My husband and I have been married for two years and together for three. I mean, already, uh, what's all, I, mean, I don't know, it's whatever, I guess. 22 and 18, I guess it's fine. I don't know. That's borderline. That, that could have been in college. It's yeah, a possibility. That's still borderline for me, bud. She's not six feet. She's only 5'9". Maybe all the rest of the actresses were just tiny around Only 5'9"? Well, Killian's, it's, Murphy's only 5'1". In the... Nuh-uh, really? I don't know. He, oh. He's... He seems like a man that would be so much shorter than you think because he has a big presence on screen, if that makes sense. Well, no, it doesn't. Let me look what? it up. What? I think Killian Murphy is going to be 5'7". Killian I bet he's... Murphy height. This. He's 5'7 and three quarters. Okay. He's a lying. If, no, if you're three quartering <laughs> it, you're lying. He's Yeah, he... it's my it's my 31st and one 364th birthday, you fucking... <laughs> Why you gotta get Killian Murphy's Google result? I love Killian Murphy. You're six, Come to the pod, but you're six two. He's not coming for your title. Not he, worried about that. You're in that. a different stratosphere. I am. The air's a little thinner up here. <laughs> a lot more cat piss. Yeah, actually, I could use another bump. Honestly, <laughs> this this just happened five hours ago, and I'm not sure how to feel about it or what to believe. For context, my friend comes over to drink and hang out every once in a while. 
And when she does, we let her sleep in our guest room so she doesn't have to drive home drunk. Love that. Great friend, great host. Well, last night, we all decided to watch a movie in bed. I fell asleep after maybe an hour. And at about 4 a.m., I felt them both move off the bed, and it woke me up. My husband said he went to go get water, and my friend said that she had to go use the bathroom. After they got back onto the bed, I was awake, but with my eyes closed. Why Why would the friend get back into the same bed when she's got a guest bed? Because it's like silly, goofy slumber party moods. Hmm. Okay. She gets scared. Okay. Had a nightmare. All right. Fair enough. Forget they were those. still drinking and hanging out, and they're just watching a movie in bed. Let a couple friends have a slumber party. I am not opposed to this. I just think that let, the activities le- right now are a little uh, suspect. Let a married man snog a girl. Uh, no. Let the men snog. Come on. Mm. Snog. 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 No, moving snog. on. Keep reading. Uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I was awake, but I had my eyes closed. I noticed the movie got louder, and then I heard a kissing noise. I There's turn over slowly. The movie. The movie. Or their cat or their dog licking their own ass. Yep. Yeah. That's about the only two things I could think of. Right. It's definitely not her a best hus- friend and her husband making out. They would never. Is in that- the bed with you in it. That's actually how Foley artists do it. They bring a dog on set with a real dirty asshole. <laughs> I did not like the way they that you described. They slop up and- the dog's asshole. For These are actor dogs, like though. That. They they get paid. They're they get paid. Them. They get paid the bid. <laughs> they get paid the big barks, bucks, barks. You should probably do another hit. Your brain, <laughs> actually, maybe not. Your brain's. I think you're you're in the same spot I'm at, where your brain's yeah. going too many directions at once. It's you're trying to grasp the lightning, and it's hard to you know. I I am right now. The my mental state currently is when you are driving and you see a hazard and you don't do anything about it. <laughs> you just. <laughs> That's bad in front of me. You're not hitting a brake. You're not accelerating. You're not swerving. You're just staring at it like the something bad this way comes. Mm. I'm concerned you didn't have enough, Erica, because <laughs> this isn't connecting with you. And what he said really touched deeply in me right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I just feel like you're sitting. No, maybe you are feeling it. <laughs> you are experiencing what he's saying. Physically, I'm spiritually, and he's emotionally. Okay. The thing is, my we're a triumvirate. S- yep. Hear That's no evil, word. see no evil, speak no evil. Yeah, my soliloquy sort of moved Christian to tears for the first time since I don't know when he smelled that ammonia about 25 <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> then I heard it, a kissing noise. I turned over slowly and I saw my friend caressing my husband from behind and giving him kisses on his neck while he watched the movie. Good husband. He was just like, oh, it must be my wife. I don't know why, my, good, why our friend would be doing this. Good husband. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kissing her back. I was just letting her kiss my neck so she, I wouldn't have to kiss her. Crazy that the friend's in the middle. Yeah. Because I guess in this scenario, well, I guess maybe it's wife, husband, friend, but that's even worse. I'm just yeah. trying to picture where the bed is in re- relation to the TV. Because I, I was already thinking foot of the bed. Yeah. But now I'm thinking side of the bed with the husband facing away, like, towards it. Like, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. But it could be, like, this isn't important. <laughs> it's not important at all. Thanks, guys. I'm glad we're finally all realizing it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> My calculations have already determined that that wasn't a relevant sentence five uh. years ago. Uh, she, I found my friend caressing my husband from behind and giving him kisses on the neck while he watched the movie. Once she realized I saw her, she froze, quickly moved her hands, and we stared at each other for a good 30 seconds. (laughs) Eventually, I asked her, what's going on? And she swore it was nothing and that nothing's happened. And my husband initially said the same. Uh, I don't believe any of that. After about an hour and a half of asking for the truth, he told me that he didn't know the kisses were for him. <laughs> <laughs> and that he froze and didn't know what to do. Who were they supposed to be for? Your wife? <sighs> and then you're still just not going to acknowledge that? or When I, a- when I asked him, uh, 
Such, oh my god, what an insane <laughs> dudes are so dumb. Um, he said I didn't know the kisses were for him, and that he froze and didn't know what to do. When I asked him why it took him so long to tell me the truth, he said it was because he was afraid of how my friend would react. I don't know if I should believe him or not. She kisses him. She kissed him twice that I know of, and he has a history of lying to me. My friend was quiet the whole time as I was trying to get the truth out of my husband. Eventually, I told her to leave my house. She left, and my husband got upset at me for being mad at him for what happened. Personally, I think that he shouldn't have let it go to this get to this point in the first place. He said she caught him by surprise, but eventually confessed that she first rubbed him on the back and told him, it's okay. After that, she sat directly behind him, hugged him from behind, and started kissing his neck multiple times. He said that she was probably just comforting him because yeah. she knows he was upset because him and I have both have been having issues lately. I feel like they both have fault here. She was insanely wrong for doing that, and he was wrong for letting her do it. I don't know. I don't know. He says I'm fucked up for getting mad at him and not at her. Well, of course he's going to try and turn the blame to be on you. Like, Which, Yeah. Which you're isn't the, true. I'm mad at both of them. Yeah, you're the only person not at fault. I'm not sure how to go about this. Part of me wants to call it quits, but the other half of me feels bad for not believing him. Uh, don't believe him! So am I the asshole? I don't know how you want me to end that. It's a different post entirely. It's a different subreddit, Josh. You're looking at me like you're looking for a, a closure, and there wasn't a closure in the post. Did the guy say his name? What does uh, it matter? I think his name was Fred, probably. Caught him Fred handed. This is the stupidest fucking joke you've ever said. There's a lot of behind the scenes <laughs> production for that joke. That made it funny to me. A lot of intra production <laughs> going on. I'm pretty sure I texted him. He looked at it and swiped the text away immediately. <laughs> Say the guy's name is Fred. Say the guy's name is Fred. Say the guy's name is Fred. He sent it to me three times. Josh, he already has a hard time reading and staying on point. That's why I stopped after three. <laughs> I wish you would have. It really. If it kept going, I would have had to acknowledge it. I just thought it was like, oh, it's like a bad signal issue. It actually accidentally got sent a couple times extra. <laughs> oh, man. I feel so bad. Fucking break up. Break up. Oh, for sure. Ties. Break up. If for you already sure. have issues, this isn't going to make it better. No, it's not. Couples counseling ain't saving this one. I always say couples give couples counseling a try. You always say that. No matter Do you what. always say that? Always. Huh. It's funny you say that because this post comes to us from r slash am I the asshole hole. Oh, are we because done talking I... about that? Because I was just going to say, like, <laughs> I wonder... If you would have just like watched, see how long, see how far they take it. Yeah, like do they? Yeah, fuck? you should have, you should have kind of sat back and watch. It would have been kind of. <laughs> I just hot. no, that's not what it, I mean. If that's true too, I I meant more on the lines of like cucking yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no. Again. Uh, no, more like kind of like a voyeur. No, I just meant that like they already tried to lie. If you would have like caught them doing even yeah. more, you could have been like, "You can't fucking lie about this." I yeah. mean, because real lies, real lies, real lies. You know? Yeah. Yeah, and also from from behind neck kisses is that's a hot. it's a real hard thing to lie. Your that's way fucking out. hot. That's what I'm saying. Like, well, not I'm just saying what Josh is saying. Um, <laughs> but you do agree a little bit with what I'm saying, right? I'm not disagreeing. It feels like she's not agreeing fully. She doesn't like my behind the back kisses. No, I actually really enjoy that, but that's not what I'm trying to get at here. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's the cat piss is getting to me. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's read the new story. The thing I'm is, when you were this. laying in bed and you got behind the back neck kisses and you look behind you, there's only one <laughs> prince in the bed. <laughs> that was Jesus kicking, kissing you on the neck. Oh, yeah. that's a problem for me. Well, I was like cool about it. Uh, He's gay, so like it wasn't like. But I didn't invite him sexual. in. This is the problem. Well, you don't have to invite Jesus. He's everywhere. He's inside all of us. Except for I didn't consent to that. So. Well, it's not like it's not like a sexual thing. It's just more of a like spiritual mm. thing. Hmm. Yeah, but I didn't consent to that either. You don't consent to having a man inside of you. Correct. Spiritual or otherwise. Yes. Even if he's a deity. 
Um. Hmm. Or like part deity. Yeah. No. I'm. I. I would need to know specifics. What if before... he was Christian? Hang on. Do you mean a Christian deity or like as in Christian, my husband? Famously, yeah. Jesus was Christian. Famously, he's the most famous Christian. That's okay, anyway, next up. story, please. To my ego. Josh, it's so crazy that you mentioned marriage counseling. Because this story comes to us from r slash am I on the asshole, asshole. <laughs> because I don't want to go to marriage counseling now that my husband wants another kid. Uh-huh. Okay. I mean, another, another head of that cat piss. I, 33 female, have been married to my husband, 36 male, for seven years. A little over five years ago, I got pregnant with our son. Long story short on that, it was a terrible time for me. The pregnancy was rough on me, and on top of that, my husband demanded a pregnancy test. Piece of shit. Wait, pregnancy test or paternity test? Uh, it says pregnancy test, but I assume paternity test is what they meant. Uh, okay. Huh. He kept trying to say that he didn't think I would cheat on him, but he really needed to be sure. It destroyed me emotionally, and it didn't get better after our son was born. And he got the proof from the test. I asked him to go on, go to marriage counseling with me. And he told me no, because it was my issue and that I needed to get over it myself. Interesting. So I asked him to go for just therapy for me. And he said no, because I just need to get over it. And that we didn't have money for us to go to therapy. Interesting. I hated him for the first year of my son's life. Like with a burning passion. However, I learned about meditation and mindfulness. And over, my, and over time, my hatred dissipated, and I just felt this indifference towards him. I didn't love him anymore, but I didn't hate him. I wanted a divorce, but my family and his family convinced me it would be better to stay together for my son, and I did that for him. My relationship with my husband, if you could call it that, was fine. I still did everything I was, was supposed to as a wife. Was it fine? Because it's, it's not sounding fine. She learned a way to just turn off all, well, I guess it's meditation maybe she is not kind of all feelings, but she learned to really just be like, I just don't have to pay attention to this one. Yeah. She's Fred up. Was his name Fred? His name was Fred. Okay. So she's Fred up. <laughs> right, uh, but, 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 but. If you could call, if you could call it. If you could call it that was fine. My husband, my relationship with my husband, if you could call it that was fine. I should have just started from the top of the sentence. I still did everything I was supposed to as a wife. I cooked, cleaned, let him use my body to get off whenever he wanted. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. None of that I'd, is what you are supposed to do as a wife. Yikes, 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 None yikes. of that yeah. is a requirement. Yo. I just saw it as a chore that I needed to do. It's not. I thought everything was going fine. Our son just started going to kindergarten and I've been looking for a job while... Our son is at school. I even started working out again. Now the problem is that, that my husband fine. came I have no to me with that part. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Work on you, girl. Uh, now that the problem is that my husband came to me and said that he wants another baby. I laughed because I thought he was joking, but he was serious. I told him that I wouldn't have a baby with someone that I didn't love. Ooh, he was, sh he was shocked by this. Good for you. He told me that he had no idea that I didn't love him, which was didn't. ridiculous to me because in the past five years, I stopped wearing my wedding ring. <laughs> I've never said I love you to him since. Oh, my God. And we didn't do anything together. No date nights. We didn't exchange gifts for any birthdays or occasions. We were just living like roommates who had sex sometimes. Well, one of you had sex. Yeah. Now he's wanting me. He's wanting us to go to counseling and all this other stuff to save our marriage. And I just feel like I don't see the point in this. So am I the asshole? No. No. You need you need a divorce. Wow. <clears throat> what Jesus. a miserable sounding life. What the yeah. hell? Hey, bud. You okay? What's up with the story? Reddit's hey, Reddit's fucked up right now, okay? You didn't see any silly goofy ones? I didn't even notice someone gave me Well, no, not right now. We can talk about this. No, but... I just feel like you're trying to rush me out of this to get to a silly, goofy one. No, we clearly need to hit a break. We are so far into this episode. But we can talk about this thing. I'm just... Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, no. Five years, no wedding ring. Five I, years, also, no I love yous. How does her husband not notice that? Yeah. How 
how has it been five years and you haven't fucking noticed that your wife hasn't said I love you? Or wearing a wedding, like, what? That's It's been five years and you haven't gotten your wife a gift? Or she you. Or she you. It's one thing if you both have discussed, like, hey, let's not do gifts. Yeah. But just, like, out of the blue, not one day just not doing it that is wild that you haven't fucking noticed any of that wow i would i would notice after one day of aurora not getting me a gift if we're being for real <laughs> that sounds about right yeah it would fuck me up i you're demanding yeah i notice listeners we have to bring him a gift if we want to record here <laughs> every time we're zooming is because we forgot to get him a gift that week <laughs> Like when you take your wedding ring off to do dishes or whatever and you forget to put it on the next day. I notice yeah. immediately. Doghouse every time. Nah, not quite doghouse every time, but I notice every time. I was cheating on you a scrub daddy. Okay. I thought you were going to say a scrub nurse because he works in a hospital. No, scrub daddy. The that, sponge that, that makes me feel better. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't feel good. I wondered why his dick was so abrasive. Interesting. Interesting <laughs> that we learned that about you. Uh, this is a prime example of not, it's not better to stay together for the kid. Nope. Cause yeah. you fucking, and a small part hated that kid. Yep. And what the and kid meant to you. Resentful your and yep. yeah, no, that's, and that's bad, bad all around. It's bad all around. Maybe the second half of this episode won't be bad all around. Uh, you're not going to like the circle, Jerry. Oh God. Is it more cat piss? It's a little bit more cat piss. Uh, see you after this break. Bye. Hello, welcome back to the podcast. Kira Aurora says thank you for the card. She read it and it's very cute. Thank you. I can't wait to let me tell you about this circle dirge. That's right, folks. I had, where's my phone at? This week's circle dirge, we are doing the fan favorite, the one, the only M- music video. Listener submitted tweets that should have banged with a twist. <laughs> You know what's fucked? What's that? Yeah. You didn't even ask me about my Punjakana trip. What do you mean? Oh, I made friends in Punjakana. So, Erica, you went to Punjakana with a you friend for uh, free this weekend. I don't even want to do it now. How was that? Well, okay. <laughs> it was really fucking cool. I had a good time. I met some friends from Canada, but I don't. You don't really care. So, what were their names? Fred. Davina. Were they Freds? Davina and Div- Liv and Taylor. Div- Hang on, Davina, up, like your D and D character's name. Did you tell them that? Are your D and D character's friend's name? Who only eats one almond every day? You made up a name. You made up names. Davina Cena Penis. Yeah, yeah. I f- fucking forgot that that was her name. Yeah. In this, yeah. Well, no, her name was Davina for sure. Do your last name was for sure Cena Penis. I don't know. Maybe. I can't wait to go. How was the weather? Was it like incredible? Could you get in the ocean? Yeah. Really? Yeah, the ocean's kind of rough though. Choppy. Yeah, it like pulls you out more than I was expecting. Mm. I've been. But... Have you ever been in the ocean, like on an island? Yeah. And it was just more than you were expecting. Well, I mean, we were in Saint Martin in July, and it was beautiful, super calm, mm. crystal clear water. Interesting. Yeah. When I went in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, off the coast of Mississippi. Uh, I remember it being pretty choppy. Mm. But it could just, you know, time of year, I suppose. Yeah. Us landlockers up here, we don't really know about ocean stuff. Yeah, it was really cool. I made made friends with the Canadian girls. And they all thought that I was young. They all thought that I was 22. 22? Yeah. Isn't Taylor that, fans? That's, Swifties? I mean, probably, but, but yeah. Um, and I spent most of my time doing shots at the swim-up bar. Got sunburned, <laughs> and that's the most I've had to drink consecutively in a really long time. So, also the resort that we were at tried to—they want you to spend fifty dollars on a single bottle of sunscreen, like just regular fucking SPF thirty. Yep, fifty bucks. Hmm. So that's why you got burnt. Yes, I—I'd rather fucking be sunburnt than spend fifty dollars on sunscreen. 
I mean, pretty sick for a free trip, though. No, it was incredible. The yeah. food was great. I tried duck confit. I don't know if that's how Jing you say that. She didn't get the foie gras. It wasn't on the menu. Okay. How was it? Incredible. What is it? It's a duck. With? Well. Uh, What's fui? Confit. Or fee? I don't know. Was it like really relaxed? It was like a comfy duck? It was. Okay, cool. This is listener submitted tweets. Okay. It, I, I mean, what, we're on. We this episode's so long. Yeah. Was there anything else? This I asked cr- you so many questions. Yeah, I don't. I, it's fine. Yeah, we're done. We anything can talk else more about on it? the bonus pod? Sure. No, that's fine. Was there more? This is crazy. I don't know. Guys. Was it the same resort that we're going to? No. Later? Different resort. Yeah. Same area. North of the airport. I don't know. This is guys. Okay. This is crazy. So this is listener submitted tweets that should have banged. All right then, I, Eric. What is good? I can't tell if this is a bad or not. You. I it's can't what? even tell right now. Just fucking go. Give me the cat piss. Give me the cat piss. I need the cat piss. I'm serious. Give me the cat piss. Give me the cat piss. <laughs> you have to read again, bud. I I'm gonna need it. No. I'm <laughs> I'm, give me the cat I'm piss. Cutting you off of cat piss. I'm gonna chug this beer then. <laughs> What an ultimatum. I need an upper or a down or something. <laughs> My mood needs stabilized. All right. But with a twist. I'm going to read. With a piss. One from a listener, one from me. I'm not going to tell you which one is who. Mm. And then you have to say which one's better. So this first one. My toxic trait Ooh. is when people ask if they should change something about their appearance. I tell them to do whether I think. This isn't yours. I tell them to do whatever I think would look worse. I do this exclusively to men. Grow that mustache, King, and do it. It's not yours. Or well, I need to get the comparison. Yeah, or the comparison. It could be mine. It's not. Josh is throwing his voice. I just know this because you have all of your tweets fucking memorized to a T, so you wouldn't have stumbled across your words. So I am knee deep in cat piss right now. <laughs> so you do need to keep that in mind. Oops, I'll jank him. Uh, who could have stopped 9-11? One of each Pokemon or a billion lions? That's a you tweet. Okay. And which one's better? Neither. Unfortunately, the 911 one's better. I mean, 42 likes on mine. That's pretty good. The other one was from Brooke at Brooklyn underscore 22, Swifty. Brooklyn. Yeah, it's just, you know, phonetically saying it. That way, if you need to search at B R O O K E L Y N underscore 22, Brooklyn. Mm. <laughs> they said, I think like would, I think Rick would like a dis one. <laughs> <laughs> And the three replies are all from men with mustaches being like, huh? <laughs> yeah. So that was pretty good. Thank you, Brooke. This next one is from either Katie or me. Can Ooh. I be super, super honest? Mm-hmm. I didn't listen to a single word from that tweet because as soon as you stumbled, I would just, all I could focus on was yeah. that it wasn't yours. This next one is either from Katie or me. Change the term union busting to union gooning to help radicalize the youth. <laughs> That's a good tweet. Or That one should have banged. Or... Well, Change it to Union Gelting. It would make so much sense if Macklemore was dead. <laughs> Which I think is an all-timer tweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good tweet. <laughs> I like the Union Busting one. Really? Yeah. Is it because you know what gooning is now? Uh... You forgot what gooning is now? Wait, Union Busting is bad. I don't want to do that. Right, I'm saying change the turn Union Gusting busting to union gooning that way kids know about it mm. anyway the union busting one was mine i got 19 likes didn't do very hot people didn't no. like the union gooning the other one's from katie kate underscore ha underscore yes a great great tweet i yeah. think macklemore should be dead that's it would just make more sense one like I, on that one I, I don't understand uh well, it takes an artist's vision to really see it. This next one is pro tip. You can lie about Adam Sandler's location at any time or sucking just a little bit of pee out of my penis to get a siphon going. God damn it. So that, <laughs> that sounds like a Cards Against Humanity card. So that does. That sucks to hear. I mean, <laughs> for anybody else who tweeted that, that, that would sucks suck to, to hear you. that I got a side gig. <laughs> Cards Which Against Humanity dot co yeah. reach out. Which one's better? Those were two separate t- tweets. I thought that of was course, those weren't related in the slightest. That's list. why I was so confused. <laughs> you could lie about Adam Sandler's location at any time or sucking my penis just a little bit to get it. Yeah, like I thought that was the whole tweet. How? How? I, that's you why don't I was get like... Twitter. 
I thought there was a. <laughs> I thought there was a. There's a character a limit. Comma in there. There's not only a character limit. There's a vulgarity limit on Twitter. You can't put both those things in one tweet. Is Adam Sandler? There's a, not a, a character vulgarity? limit anymore. There is still. Well, it's a, a pay for it. And this Knowing is you, Josh, that'd be something you'd pay Excuse for. Excuse me. So which one is better? I don't know. I think the Cypher one's funny because it's a very visually... I'm going to go with Adam Sandler. Just yeah. to... The Cypher one is mine. I was tweeted on Valentine's Day. Yeah, sounds right. 41 likes. So that's at Hosh Jack Smith, folks. The other one was... 24. Honestly, those are all pity likes if we're being for real. Yeah, that, well. It's Valentine's Day and you have to make a joke about getting pee sucked out of your wiener. Like By that's. Myself. Yeah, it's sad. To get a siphon it's, going, it's pity. It's, it's pity going. likes. Well, it's it's really it's a it's a pussy pro- likes. <laughs> I was gonna say shitty likes. I'm glad you put the okay. bullet on pissy likes. Uh, pissy likes my tweets. I do. Well, it's obligatory. So it's not. He's not trying to get fired. <laughs> the don't fire me, please. <laughs> I'll hey, I'll get your dick siphoning, brother. Don't fire me. <laughs> this next one, I'm saving my squirt for marriage versus. <laughs> Uh, can't stop thinking about Tony Hawk. He should be left-handed. Saving my squirt for marriage is the better one for sure. That is funny, but Tony Hawk. That's your tweet. Has to be Uh, left-handed. Uh, ten likes on that. There's no. He's not left-handed. Be fact checked. There's no world where he's not left-handed. According to Kate underscore ha underscore yes. He's a dude. He's a fucking dweeb. He's Tony Hawk's really cool. What do you mean? He's Uh, the biggest fucking dweeb of skateboarders there could be. He's cool. He's cool, like to the average person, but as a skateboarder, he's like the biggest fucking nerd there could be. Well, who do you prefer, Ryan Shackler? No, it's the only other skateboarder I can come up say, with. That's crazy that you named a skateboarder. Other I, Chad I, Muska, I, Bob I got, Burnquist. I got Bam Margera. That's where I'm working with. <laughs> um, who's the guy that came up with like all the mo- Rodney Mullen? He's actually my favorite. Skateboarder. Is he named after the hot and up and coming new band Hot Mulligan? close but no he's the guy that made up every single skateboard move ever okay this that that series of tweets was from kate they said i won't lie these probably get this got the exact amount of likes they deserved i'm not sure about how (laughs) celebrities work thank you for your time (laughs) uh and now these next uh tweets here we'll pit them up against each other to see who's the king of the tweets who's the king of the tweets so either Yankee Doodle was kind of dumb as hell. How did he stick a feather in his hat and think it was macaroni? Or does anyone else get unnecessarily stressed when you have to track down an emoji that's not in your recents? Um, I'm pretty sure that macaroni back then was like a term for cool. So he called it macaroni because he was like, this feather in my hat's really fucking cool. I believe this is so fucking macaroni. (laughs) Yeah. Our podcast is so fucking macaroni. (laughs) Uh, but Tony Hawk, one? not macaroni. <laughs> He's cheese. <laughs> He's cheese for sure. Which one's a better tweet? I wasn't listening after you said macaroni. Macaroni, because all I could think about was yeah. <laughs> well, that one was my tweet, so it grabbed your attention. Well, that one's only got. I don't like that. Twenty-one so. likes. So, but the other one was from Rose. I say hello. Please say my name. It's Rose, by the way. Hello, judges. That's my middle name. The entirety of my Twitter is pretty embarrassing and should never be looked at. But here are two screenshots of two tweets that I. They deserved a lot more love than they got. Please feel free to either love or judge these endlessly. Pisses and kisses from a proud piss baby. The uh, three likes on that. But does anyone else get unnecessarily stressed? Very relatable. I sometimes go to add an emoji, and if it's not in my most recent ones, I back out. Yeah. I just you don't, don't have, like, a search bar you can... Oh, I do. Yeah, but if it's not <laughs> it's... in those, t- like, 20... Especially if it's any of the hand... Yeah. Like, if I don't have a thumbs up, oh. I'm looking for any other emoji to throw yep. in there as a placeholder. Yep. I went to go use the clown emoji the other day. It made me, me realize how f- <laughs> how yeah. out of vogue the clown emoji is because it's like <laughs> it's not in my recently used. And Android phones give you so many recently used ones. It's like mm-hmm. I haven't used this in twenty emojis. This is insane. Yeah, uh, yeah. It hurt when you said that to me. It was about you, like you self-deprecated, but Christian thought I was calling I, him out. Yeah. <laughs> He sent me a little picture that said red at 2.30, and I was like, I was at work, Josh. I was like, no, I'm trying to imply that I left you on red. And I felt like an idiot. Cut all that out. It's the most... Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. It's the most I've 
ever had a joke go over my head in recent in recent memory. I felt so bad. I didn't want to make you like feel like I was like shitting on you for some reason. I thought you were. Yeah, I thought it was hostile. Anywho, this next one. When I say I hate my body, I don't mean how it looks. I mean my digestive system. Oh, uh, preach. Versus owning a dog is like, don't give them chocolate or they'll shit a ton. And that makes sense. And owning a cat is like, oh, you got live flowers. If your cat looks at them, they'll probably go into liver failure. Good luck. That's very true. The first one. Is better? Yeah. Second one's too wordy. It wasn't concise enough. 31 likes on the second one, though. I mean, it it felt more like a short form. Cards Against Humanity card. Not even a no. short form. I, I think it would be better as like an e-card. A a TikTok. Uh, if you could work it into a TikTok. Yeah. It could be a good TikTok. A like pun calendar that I have on my desk that says the eyes are one of the last parts of your body to die or they dilate. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, Rose... The first one was just... Yeah. True. Chef's kiss. Really. Rose got four likes on that one, so it's pretty, well, pretty good. That Rose. one should have banged, for sure. Well, they all should have banged. That's the thing. Well... This next one... Uh, but you know how there's like this the Josh memes? Though. So this one isn't going head-to-head against anything. You know, like the Josh Wine memes? They were yeah. all over everywhere in January. <laughs> this person tweeted the who josh why josh wine wine ah yeah yeah yeah. okay I'm i can't sandwich. drown my demons they know how to swim and then got the results back from the doctor and i'm afraid to say i got that josh in me and it's a picture-based tweet hey but they're funny no they're not that's pneumonia <laughs> pneumonia and the uh, last one here the last little head to head uh, I can never figure out if gooch or taint is the better word. It feels like I'm stuck between a cock and a fart place. <laughs> or just made my girl come hip hip hooray. Dude. The those, first one is yours. It is mine. The first those one are, mine. I really love just made my girl come hip hip hooray. That's so good. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty upset that I used the clap. Yeah. You can't do it Too twice. soon. Well, the, the second, second one, one is definitely better. I mean, I think They're the first both funny. one is good. They both have their own merits. One First of them, one's too wordy. One of, no, it isn't. No. It's the perfect amount of words. Uh, <laughs> he got 83 likes on it, so I beg to fucking differ. <laughs> um, and the second one is from Copy, who says, Hey, judges, it's Copy. Use my name. Here's one tweet from my new Twitter. You can plug if you desire. At Pookie Bear, sorry, at Pook Bear 69. P O O K Bear 69. Letters, not numbers. Pook Bear. Yeah. Um, which is a great tweet. Zero likes, unfortunately, for you. Well, it's a new account. Right. What can you expect? And that was Great it. tweet. That was head to head tweets that should have banged. Thoughts? I just feel like it's I been a long time it. since I plugged the old Hosh J. Smith. I've been popping off recently. Doing live tweet reactions to Avatar The Last Airbender on Netflix. I Did saw you watch it? it? I've seen first them. Half of them. We watched the first two episodes. We watched the first two. Your takes are all right, I guess. You disagree? Yeah. This is going on for too long. I'm going to cut you off. This is too long. No, this is going on too long. This is going on too long. But we got to fucking figure this shit out. Uh. This is a listener submitted sound. Oh, we're on the same page. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Also, the show need the show could be better. Yes, but the anime. It's very good. Incredible. And if you haven't watched it, watch it. Sorry, bud. No, I agree. No, sorry for the edit. Oh, I'm just gonna do a, a like a thing of like, dun, 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 dun. and I can't do Benny Hill because it's copyrighted. Okay. But you'll just like, it'll be us talking really fast in the mm-hmm. background. This is a listener submitted sound that is over a month in the making. Wow! That's because somebody DM me on Twitter with like eight voice memos of like forty seconds long, each talking about how she wrote a song. And then didn't send the song. So I was like, and she's like, should I send it? And I was like, yeah, just send it. And then she said, cool, I'm going to record send it tomorrow. Send it, bud. Took a month. And then she said, hey, it's ready. We're, it's not letting me send it over Instagram. And I was like, hit me on that email. <laughs> and they're like, oh, yeah, I forgot about email. I'm 29. Uh, but here it goes. <laughs> this is about, um, I'll just read the message first. Hey, you guys. Hi. Hey, you I'm guys. Katie. And you can totally use my name. A lot of Katie's tonight. I just want to thank you all for getting me through the worst year of my life. Here's to many more worst years with you by my side. Hopefully less worst years. Hopefully, yeah. 
Uh, this is a song I wrote for my boyfriend addressing the age-old question about the depths of love. It's called Worm Song. My Instagram handle is at Katiefall, K-A-I-T-I-F-A-U-L. So Katie Fall. But if you Full. Fall. F-U-L. They're South African. So it's fall. Hmm. I think she's going for beautiful, but. But it's A-U-L. Uh, but you don't have to plug me. Well, it's cut. <laughs> really annoying and both stories about nothing and occasionally songs. P.S. I wrote the piss line before I was a piss baby. Inherently a piss baby. Also, I don't have favorites, but I love Rick the most. Much love, Katie from South Africa. Also, in the Instagram DMs, they did want me to specify that you do not claim Elon Musk, which is... I thought you were just fucking with me when you said South African. No, I would never lie to you on the podcast. Here it is. Hello, judges. Um, hi, I'm Katie. So they sent me like eight minutes of voice memos and then opened up the song with a voice memo. <laughs> Katie, I'm from South Africa and I love your podcast. Drop and I hope you like my song. <laughs> and yeah, I love you, Erica. I love you, Christian. I love you, Josh. Sorry, Christian, I only like you as a friend. You're a married man. Yeah, that's All right, correct. enjoy. <clears throat> Aurora took offense to that and said, so she likes you more than Would you still love me if I was a worm? Would you teach me the things only a worm could learn? And would you still love me if I grew a tail? Or would you sell me to jugglers in a traveling carnival? Whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 would you love me? Would you still love me if I pissed from my eyes? If my tears smelt like urine every time I cried? And would you still love me if my nose fell off clean? Would you tell me I'm the prettiest thing you've seen? Whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 whoa, oh, 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 would you love me, boy? <laughs> I love you guys' podcast so much. And that is all. Thank you and good night. Do you think she spelled all at the end there, A U L? Yeah. <clears throat> Your voice is incredible. Yeah. Uh, I forgot Wonderful to say voice. this somehow, but it's because we've mentioned the worm girlfriend is a worm thing multiple times. Mm. Sure. That it was wanted a, to bring the sound. It was in. your voice is so good. Yeah, yeah. it was a good song. Good, good songwriting. Yeah. I approve. You're welcome for inspiring me, I guess. Sure. Yeah, I guessed. I Doesn't it make you a little jealous when you hear people that can not only make silly, goofy songs, but they can sing the silly, goofy song? That yeah. pisses me off. Yeah, well, I can't do either. Josh can do half of it. <laughs> I can do half of both, so it's kind of like doing half of it all. Kind of. In a way. Not really. At all. But... After the listeners of Minute Sound, the listeners Minute Sound comes to us from. I think your boyfriend, husband, is turning into a worm. Uh, this I'll comes from Alyssa. Uh, she writes, "Hi, judges. You can say Hi. my name if this makes it to the pod." Alyssa, yeah. she, her. Love y'all. Thank you for keeping me company during the nights when I have to soothe my newborn back to sleep. What? Anywho, let's jump right in. Today I fucked up. Oh, it's like what is going on over here? Today I Part fucked you. up by partying at a stranger's house. So, if I'm being quite frank and honest, this fuck up happened nine years ago. Wow. I was 19 on summer break and ready to party. My friend and I were with some people at a, a friend of a friend's brother's house. <laughs> we we're all just hanging out, drinking, smoking. Smoke if you got it. And having an all around good time. Now, I'm not entirely sure if it was the alcohol or the pot or the fact that I had been watching a lot of criminal minds during the time, but all of a sudden I got extremely paranoid. I became very aware of the fact that I was in a potentially dangerous situation. I was inebriated. I was in a stranger's house with a group of strange men that I didn't know. Our podcast makes people paranoid. Pot. He said pot. 
pot. Ah. Not pot. You gave me a look like I was also supposed to understand what happened. <laughs> yeah, I thought I thought that's we gave each other the look like you got it. I thought she was implying that she was listening to the podcast at the party. Uh, like, no. Nine years ago? <laughs> I forgot about that part. Well. Hey, thanks for calling my shit out, bud. No one had actually done or said anything that could have been remotely sketchy, but that didn't matter to me at that moment. I was scared. So I devised a genius plan in order to get myself to safety. It's important to remember that I'm extremely fucked up at this point. I stand up, declare loudly that I had to go to the bathroom, and I excuse myself from the room. Once in the safety of the restroom, I lock the door, turn on the shower, as a diversion, <laughs> and open the window and hoist myself out of it. <laughs> Luckily, the restroom was on the first floor of the house. Once I was outside, I started running. Unfortunately, this was a house out in the middle of nowhere. And I wasn't familiar with my surroundings, so I didn't get very far. You have somehow put yourself into a more dangerous situation. A much more dangerous yeah. I very quickly gave up on my escape plan and just ended up finding a bush to sit in. Oh, she was the original bush camp dad in Fortnite. And yes. Then, and then all the bush camp dad fans will get that reference. Eventually, my friend and the people that were hanging out with us must have realized that something was up and that I was gone. She's the original. And they had to start a search party for me. It didn't take them long to find me in the bush, and I quickly realized that I wasn't being hunted, and that, in fact, I was perfectly okay. We went back to the house. I took a real shower to try to help sober me up, and then promptly passed out. The next morning, I woke up to multiple text messages and numerous phone calls from my boyfriend. Apparently, in my drunken stupor, I texted him, I'm scared. They're after me. And then didn't respond to a single messenger call <laughs> that that's, he gave me. That's frightening. Whoopsies. That's not teehee. Yeah. Especially nine years ago in 2013. Yeah. Like there's like less coverage for shit. Like that could like, I don't know. Like I feel people are, were less online in 2013. Yeah. 2015. Fuck. Never mind. Problem people, was that people he, were so online in 2015. Yeah. Fuck. Problem was that he had no way to get to me because we were on break from college and I was at home in Michigan while he was at home in Mississippi. Well, pretty close. So freaked out. He was so freaked out from my message and me not responding that he ended up calling my mom. Oh, I ended oh, up no. having a lot of apologizing to do after that, but he apparently forgave me because he decided to marry me and we now Aww. have a beautiful baby boy together. Congratulations. Years after this incident, I got a Facebook message from the owner of the house saying, Hey, do you remember when you jumped out of my bathroom window? We still talk about that sometimes. Why did you do that? <laughs> and while I don't have a good answer for him, I do have a small scar on my arm and a pretty good story to tell. So, love y'all. Sorry the story's kind of long. Hope you liked it. Alyssa. That was a fun one. I did enjoy it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I tried to get a fun one for us. I felt like you guys are pissed off at me. Yeah. You felt correct. I could tell. Do you, do you need more cat piss to calm you down? I asked for it once and Josh shut me down. He's saving it all for himself later. He's hogging it. I'm trying to get janked over here and he won't even let me freaking jank off. Oh my god. Hey Christian, can I have a one simple request to the editor? Oh my god, what? Can you cut the, the sentence where you said that she hid in a bush to right now? That way it lays in front of my joke of Oh, she was the original Bush Camp dad in Fortnite. And yes. Then, and then all the Bush Camp dad fans will get that reference. Editor! Editor, please! All the, nah. Fort, all the Fortnite kids are going crazy. Ninjas tweeting about it. Brawless. Oh. <laughs> Shut up, Josh. Back to the story. <laughs> Don't put all that. <laughs> this next story comes to us from... Emma, you can use my name. Hi, judges. Long time Hello. listener. First time submitter, unless you count the awkward two attempts that I tried to send a story via Instagram last year, where I fucked up and could only send one message, which didn't include the intended story. But it is what it is. I wonder how many great stories we have on our Instagram inbox that will never be read. Well, it's hard to tell. <laughs> it's hard to organize. It is hard to tell. It's the issue. Uh... uh I found this one on Reddit, and I don't know if I've ever said what the fuck louder or been more confused by a story. It has has all the privileged people petty fighting bizarre family dynamics 
Enjoy. Lots of love, Emma. Isn't it weird how Emma is the only name that is just two letters back to back? Like you, like it's it's pronounced just two letters. Huh. M and a. Uh. Okay. A uh is not a letter. It's just a long A. Okay. I'm glad you got in the back, but or a shorty. Okay. Or sometimes and shorty. You. It's like Shorty. a melody in my head. So, am I the asshole for feeling hatred towards my siblings for using body soap to bathe? Na 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 na. Every day. <laughs> but what? Huh? Yes. L- parentheses liquid body soap. Yeah. Why does that matter? I honestly wasn't listening. I was just waiting to do my joke. What? <laughs> what? What is it? Am I the asshole for feeling hatred towards my siblings for using body soap to bathe? Long story short, I twenty female. I'm not in speaking terms with my with both of my brothers, 23 male and sister, 38. I'm not in speaking terms with both my brother, 23 male, and my sister, 38 female, due to a major conflict that occurred a month prior. Huge age gap. Yeah, 18 why? year age gap between siblings. And you're all living together? Okay. <laughs> we all live together in our parents' house, and I'm still the only student in the house, which means they are all working adults. We always use body soap, the liquid, the liquid kind. But lately, uh, it had finished, and our mom has yet to buy some from the mall. Go out and buy some. Crazy that you're all adults. <laughs> Go out and buy some body wash. However, due to her work schedule, she couldn't immediately buy some. Instead, she told us to just use the bar soap temporarily that is in the storage. Perfect. Irish Springs. We do not like to use bar soap, as it's not as good as body soap liquid they put they put parentheses <laughs> liquid after every single use of body soap we for bathing it's arguably better i mean look at it every single time recently i noticed the smell that comes after my brother and sister takes a bath and it's very similar to the body soap liquid that we usually use yet there isn't any kind of bath soap liquid in the bathroom <laughs> i can tell this for sure as i have a very strong sense of smell so I'm not a pervert, and I can certainly tell for sure that they had been secretly keeping a bath soap and using it for themselves selfishly. Well, then look for it. it it's a bathroom. Also, go fucking buy your own soap then. Well, they're still They're student. all adults. <laughs> this is because my brother used to go crazy whenever the body soap liquid finishes and would lash out at us all. But recently, he's been very quiet and satisfied. What does that mean? I've texted my mom about this as she was busy in work, and I asked her verbally when she would buy some more bath soap liquid for the household. <laughs> and I noticed the remorse when she told me that she had no time to buy it, and she would buy it when she goes grocery shopping. And I guess I'm fine with that. But my problem is with my siblings for using separate soap selfishly. I have another brother, 24 male who also uses the bar soap and doesn't know about them using a separate liquid soap. Or so he says. So I find their actions to be selfish and petty. They also talk to, they talk to others like my brother and my mom, except me friendly. So I find this behavior is not only being selfish, but also being a betrayal towards other family members. Are you like hogging all the body soap liquid? (laughs) Why does everybody hate you? (laughs) So now I'm just harboring more hatred towards them and their carefree attitudes. They could have also gone to buy the soap from the mall as they're already earning money or could even have asked my mom for money if they needed it. So could have you on that part. But But no, they decide to buy it and keep it for themselves to use selfishly. Am I the asshole here for thinking? I'm so sorry. Am I the asshole here for (laughs) overthinking this? I feel like it is so unfair yet. I also feel that I'm making a small thing a big thing. You yeah. are, yeah. AKA gaslighting myself into thinking it's not a big thing. That's I need answers. Talk no, to your you fucking need, siblings. You need body soap liquid. <laughs> Go to the fucking body soap soap liquid store and buy some body soap. Go to soap the mall liquid. and buy body soap liquid. It's a super super simple solution. It's insane that only one use of body soap in that one didn't have parentheses liquid after it. Every <laughs> single one had parentheses liquid after it. 
That's so I funny. don't understand why any of that mattered. How many how many updutes does that fucker got? Uh, six hundred and forty-five thousand. Really? No. What a fucking pointless story. I don't. Why are you on Reddit? You, in the time it took you to type parentheses liquid forty-three times, you could have drove your ass to the store. That's probably, true. probably gonna walk there. Parentheses too. car. Let's get one quick how? fucked up one. How? There we go. How? <laughs> They're so long. You're fucked. The cards after an hour and like thirty five, they split the video into two files. What? And you're gonna you're gonna be heartbroken. I haven't I've kept my little trap shut every Why time. Why wouldn't I, you tell me this? Every time we I gotta wrap it up. Every time it's happened to me. We, okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. Uh R slash confessions. I found maggots in my underwear. I've what? never been the cleanest person and what? I've always struggled with keeping my room tidy or bringing my dishes downstairs. After this absolutely life-altering <laughs> event, however, I feel like scrubbing my entire room. The walls, the floor, the ceiling, my pillows, all down with Lysol. Good. So, I have a vagina, and it's pretty normal to get discharged randomly, and it soils your underwear pretty bad. Uh. That stuff doesn't really come off in the wash, so I personally hand wash my underwear when I'm taking showers. Mm. However, because I have such a habit of throwing my clothes all over the floor... Sometimes those soiled underwear ends up buried in a mess before I get the chance to wash them, and I never really thought anything of it until now. Uh. I sat down today to finally clean my room, and while I was picking clothes up off the floor to put them in the wash, I noticed one of the soiled panties had some weird dust on it. I thought it was weird, but I just wiped it off and tossed it into the basket. Uh. Maybe about an hour later, I'm handing another I'm handling another pair, and when I pick it up, I notice something moving on it. Of course, I'm freaked out, and I throw it across the room. <laughs> Looking closer, no, it not gets... of course. Not, no, you don't see moving <laughs> life inside garments and then chuck it. Looking closer, it's got two little white worm things on it, and I guess they're born from or feeding off of my bodily fluids? I don't know what they are for certain, but I do know I bleached the shit out of both those panties before throwing them away. I'm pretty sure I'm traumatized now. I kept feeling the need to wash my hands, and suddenly the mess I've lived in all my life is unbearable. I'm thinking about it, and maybe this is what I needed to turn my life around. Good. Anyway, there's no way I'm telling anyone in my life about this, so I came to Red to get off my chest. Call me nasty or whatever <laughs> after this incident. I can't even argue with that. What a what a roller coaster! Thanks for squeezing that in, bud. Hey. Yeah, I'm really glad. Wow. Really glad to be. And if we that. really do have to get the 35, how about Ricky? You I plus. lied about that. You son of a bitch. Did you really? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I saw through the lie because I was like, uh, an hour 35 is such a weird break off. I, it would have been. An it hour does 30. happen. I don't know when it happens so. though. <laughs> okay. Anyway, well. it happened on the Ladies and Tangents episode, mm -hmm. and it happened on a different one. Yeah. All you gotta do is just line them up twice. You can find us on the internet if you'd like. Any social media platform you're on, we're probably on that too. That's at Judgies Pod, J U D G I E S Pod. If you want to send us an Instagram, I lied. If you want to send us an email, you can do that at judgiespod at gmail.com. Send us our list, your listener submission stories or a sound or whatever you'd like. Um, and all the other things. P.O. Box 58, Ottawa, Illinois 61350. I don't know. And I, hey, if you want to hear Erica tell us some freaky fucked up stories on the bonus episode, head over to patreon.com slash judges pod. And we'll talk about the new volleyball rule. Woo! Or should I? Oh. <laughs> it's, it's a visual joke. Hey, anyway. the judges love you. One, two. You should have been one, two, two, two it, and a half. No, he did it so good. You got it so on time. Have a great week, everybody. The judges love you. Have that Ooh. one off by as much of your kiss would have been if you didn't edit <laughs> Ooh, it in post. I've never edited one in you. post. Bye!